The table saw is one of the most important tools in any woodworking shop. It is designed to make precise cuts that are straight with smooth finishes. The Sala table saw is located in the basement of Lasserre. It is available whenever the wood shop is fully open. Shop hours can be found on the Sala Making and Building website or posted on the workshop door. Select materials may be used on the table saw, including MDF, acrylic, plywood, and solid wood. Several blades are available for use on the table saw. Some are designed for specific types of material or for accomplishing unique cuts. Check with the shop monitor to get advice on appropriate blades for cutting your chosen material. The table saw is most often used for straight cuts made parallel or perpendicular to the wood grain. Parallel cutting with the grain is called ripping. Perpendicular cuts across the grain are called cross cuts. Materials vary and every cut has its own logic, so plan your cuts before using the machine. The table saw is not meant to make figural cuts like curves or zigzags. It should not be used to make free cuts or cuts with closed internal angles. Please be sure to check with the shop monitor about your plans to use the table saw before you start using the machine. Additional items will be needed to safely use the table saw. These include ear and eye protection, something to secure longer hair, a pencil and notebook with a plan for cutting, as well as the piece of material you would like to cut. Do not start the table saw until you ensure all loose items on your person are securely fastened. The work area is clear of obstructions and your ear and eye protection are on. With all safety procedures met, you are ready to make your cut on the table saw. As a courtesy to your classmates and shop monitors, be sure to tidy up after you use the saw. This includes clearing excess material and sweeping both the floor and machine. For more in-depth training on best practices for using this or other machines on your SALA projects, please talk to the shop monitor and refer to other tutorial videos.